welcome to our channel i gonna read another book for you guys the title of the book is in the city itong book na ito guys free ito siya sa chick-fil-a sa kids meal so i like chick-fil-a guys kasi yung mga uh, freebies nila sa kids meal is either books or puzzles yung about school so, it's nice. So, the title of this book, guys, is In the City. Rise and shine. It's Monday morning. And people are getting ready for the day. Can you see a family eating their breakfast? Munch. This family lives at the edge of the city in a, an apartment. Other people live in apartments above and below this one. To travel around the city, people walk, cycle, drive, or take the bus or train. How many children are on the bus? Off we go. There are four children on the bus so far. They are on their way to school. It's still early morning and many people are traveling to work. Some people are already working. Can you see them? Bang, bang, bang. Here they are. These construction workers started their day very early. They are already busy building new offices and homes in the city. At the train station, people are catching trains or meeting visitors. Can you inside? Toot, toot. The whistle blows and a train pulls away. A departure board shows people where each train is going. Many people in the city work in offices. What happens in this one? The people in these offices are architects. They design new buildings, including skyscrapers. The children have enjoyed visits to an art gallery and a museum. How will they travel back to school? Whoosh! They will travel by subway. Subway trains run in tunnels under the city. The subway stations are underground too. Tourists take a boat, trip on the river. What can they see through the window? They can see a huge building on the river side. This is where the government makes important decisions and new laws for the city. Click, click. This is a good place to take a picture. At lunchtime, this park is full of people talking, walking, and eating. Is it really in the city? Yes, the park is in the center of the city, surrounded by buildings. There are many stores in the city. This department store sells all sorts of things. Each floor sells something different. 
How do people get from one floor to another? Can you guess, guys? They ride on escalators. The escalators can take them from the ground floor all the way up to the top floor. Planes fly too and from the city airport. Can you see who has just arrived? Welcome! Visitors comes to the city on vacation or to work. One plane can carry hundreds of people. At the cheddar, it's almost time for the show. The lights are dimming, the music is playing, and everyone is excited. Who's behind the curtain? Ta-da! The actors are dressed in wonderful costumes. When the curtain opens, they will begin to play. People go to the restaurants to eat with families and friends. Who is, base, who is busy making the meals? The chefs in the kitchen. Cook all kinds of different food for people to eat. Here comes dessert. One of the servers is bringing out cake. There must be something to celebrate. Chop, chop, chop. It's getting late, but some people are still at work. Can you see someone behind the fountain? Swish, swish, a street sweeper is keeping the city clean. People are going home to bed. What does the city look like at night? We'll find out. The city lights glow and flush. Many of the lights will stay on all night. The city is quiet now. Most people are fast asleep. But tomorrow, when the sun rises, the city streets will be filled with busy people. Noisy traffic and chattering children. Until then, good night! So that's the story that I tell in the city guys and I'm gonna give you another story it's a short story the title of the book is Paddington set sail one morning mr. Brown had a surprise we're taking a trip to the beach, he said. Paddington, Jonathan, and Judy cheered. Mrs. Brown and Mrs. Bird were excited too. At the beach, Paddington got a pale shovel, sunglasses, and a float. He was ready for anything. The tide was low, so they went in the water. Jonathan and Judy splashed and swam. Paddington floated in the waves. At lunch, 
Mr. Brown had a great idea. He said, let's have a sandcastle contest. Paddington, Judy, and Jonathan would each make a sandcastle. The biggest castle would win. Paddington wanted to win. First, he found a perfect spot. He dug a moat. He carried pails and pails of sun. He made walls and windows. Paddington placed his hat on the top of the castle. Finally, he was done. Paddington's big sand castle was perfect. Paddington sat inside his castle. Sand castle work was hard and he was tired. Then he fell asleep. the tide had come in. It knocked down Paddington's sand castle. It carried Paddington's pail out to sea with Paddington in it. Oh no. The Browns were worried. It was getting late. They found Paddington's hut, but could not find Paddington. Where had he gone? I don't know. Then the brown spotted people gathered near the pier. They ran toward the crowd. It was Paddington. People believed that Paddington's had floated all the way across the sea. They took his picture. Did you float here in this pail? A girl asked. Yes, I used my shovel as a paddle, said Paddington. The sun was setting. It was time to go home. Did you enjoy your trip? Paddington asked Judy. Yes, not many birds go to sea in a bucket, he said. <laughs> the Browns were so happy to have Paddington's back. Today's trip was a bit shorter than when you came from darkest Peru, said Mr. Brown. Paddington did not hear. He was fast asleep. So that's our stories for tonight, guys. Paddington set sail. So tomorrow, guys, or next days, we have a new uh, story books for you guys to uh, no, to read. So thank you for watching, guys, and have a good night, America. Good morning, Pilipinas. What does it say, TJ? Maganda. Maganda, Papi. Oh, maga. Oh, maga. Pilipinas. Say maganda. Maganda. Oh, maga. Oh, maga. Pilipinas. Pilipinas. So have a safe everyday, guys. Always and pray. Bye. Always. So, bye, bye, guys. See you know next vlog.